welcome to today's episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Sophie West. If this is your first time on this channel, you are highly, highly welcome. This is a place for the very facts from the fiction, the science from the superstitions, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, a very, very integral and uh, controversial aspect of uh, African spirituality. This is uh, the area of uh, coughing spells. If you are familiar with uh, African spirituality, voodoo, let me just say it that way, West African voodoo, Asia voodoo, you might have heard of the term of uh, coughing spells. These are spells that are done with uh, coffins. You can find this uh, phenomenon also in Queen Banda. You will find it in Santa Ria. You will find it in Palo Mayombe. You will also find it a lot in Kemetic spirituality. This is the essence of uh, burying stuff in coffins. In our uh, ancient times, so uh, this is a very popular spell. It's a spell that people use for different purposes. You can use it to bury things that uh, you don't want to see anymore in your life. It can be uh, things that you feel that may have been tinted or maybe you want to change situations or you want to change bad habits. You want to move on with your life or there are some things you don't want to see anymore. You just say, okay, I'm going to bury this stuff so that I can get it from my subconscious mind. So people do a lot of coughing spells. In ancient Egypt, they'll use the big, large, super ghost. Maybe somebody passed away. Can be your partner, can be your child. And uh, you want to move on from the memory. You will take uh, the property of this person. You will put it in a coffin that you will bury it to bury that memory. Uh, it's part of a situation whereby to bury past memories. People do this kind of spells. And uh, you can also use it for, let's say you want to bury an enemy. You can be able to do what is something like a mock funeral. But uh, in this uh, case, it is a sort of spiritual funeral for your enemies. When you apply the principles of quantum physics to bury the soul or the spirit of the enemy is supposed to be a sympathetic and symbolic magic with the essence of rendering that person powerless you know african voodoo or west african voodoo we have this phenomenon and uh, this practice as well so you see cases whereby people make use of uh, minashot coffins these are very very tiny coffins uh, it's not even baby coffins. It's just a uh, very tiny coffins. Uh, no, just like a phone case. People buy these little coffins. Then they put things inside. Can be pictures of the target. Can be items of the target. Can include uh, specimen, hair, uh, bones, skin, uh, physical properties, chains, um, anything that we tie the target or. or make a re symbolic or physical representation of the targets then we put it inside this coffin with our uh, other elements together and then that we do some rites on it and then that we bury this coffin it can be buried anywhere you want to bury it can be in a garden can be in a cemetery can be in a junction can just be anywhere so people use these coffins you can go to spiritual shops you will see these tiny coffins people buy them People buy them a lot and uh, people use it for different rites. So we call them coffin spells because uh, it is practically uh, making use of a coffin. So uh, it's very popular. We use them for burying situations, for burying the, uh, the spiritual components of people, of people, for burying the spiritual essences of people. These can be people that uh, maybe they are stubborn people, they are rivals or people that are causing problems in this life. People that are giving you headache, people that uh, you want to take away from your life. You just want to shut them off. You don't want them to interfere with your with your business or with your things. You just bury them. This is this spell is used for this kind of things for rendering your enemies powerless. Okay, you just bury them, forget about them. Or you can just lock them up 
So the coffin therefore becomes like a prison for the spirits or the soul of this person to render them incapacitated. Okay. Now the problem with these coffin spells is that um, nowadays these baby coffins, uh, some of them are getting very expensive to buy and uh, they are not easy to get. To get, uh, not everybody do them, like uh, if you're traveling a lot, not every country you can get baby coffins to buy. So the idea or the process of getting these coffins for this kind of spell is uh, very difficult, very expensive. You have to you can buy them online, then you have to pay expensive postage fees, then they send your coffin, you have to pass through custom before you get it, then you start doing the spell. It is very long, time consuming, expensive. So um, there's only two ways to solve the problem. One way is that uh, you can do the coffin yourself and uh, you can improvise. For me, uh, the way I've been improvising when I want to do coughing spells is very, very simple. And uh, it's a secret that I've been hiding for so long. But now I want to show you guys uh, what I use for my coughing. I simply use a bottle. Yes, a good old bottle can also serve the purpose of that coughing. This is a uh, very good because it's very cheap. What you need to do is just to buy a bottle of whiskey or anything that you consume it. And then you get an empty bottle, well prepared. This bottle will do the same work that that baby coffin will do exactly, okay? It will do it, it will even do it more. And uh, I kind of like the bottle. First of all, it's, uh, it looks very simple. And uh, you, it's not expensive, okay? <laughs> it's inexpensive. <laughs> and you can use it to do a lot of things. So this bottle now is uh, something that I have used for a coughing spell. There's somebody that has been tied inside this bottle, a very stubborn person. And uh, this person has been giving problem in this world to so many people. So uh, somehow I got the case and I tied the person's spirit and I put it inside the bottle. So you can see it here now, uh, pinned up. Uh, right now this uh, thing is uh, trapped inside the bottle. It cannot escape. So uh, the only way it can escape is that uh, the bottle will have to be broken. If the bottle is broken, the person can escape. And uh, of course, it's not going to be broken. I'm going to take very good care of it. So it's going to be remain like this until something happens to this bottle. This is how it's going to be. This is a very, very powerful dark voodoo spell. Okay, very powerful spell to bind the spiritual uh, essence of this person so that they cannot be able to hurt whoever they have been hurting. So you can see the person is tied up pretty much in the spell, uh, in this liquid. And uh, like this, the person is rendered in powerless and uh, immobile, cannot be able to move against uh, my client anymore. So this is a perfect example of a coughing spell that have been converted into a bottle spell okay so you can use bottles in place of coffins if you cannot have access to a coffin or they are overpricing the coffin you don't even need the coffin just get the bottle this one now i can choose to bury this anywhere i want to bury it but uh, i just used to keep it the good thing is about this is that this person is locked here i can also imprison another person inside the same bottle Two, I can put it till this bottle will get filled up with uh, like five or six of this very thing. In one bottle, I can put different work inside. If another stubborn person comes, I have the case, I will do it and I will put it and we join them inside. So I can use one bottle to imprison like six people. Okay, but in the coffin situation, you cannot use it. You can only use one coffin for one person. Okay, so bottle is good and bottle is flexible, bottle is inexpensive, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. I can also take this bottle anywhere. Nobody will ask questions. I can say anything. They will not even understand what is going on uh, with this thing. But while we keep this bottle, I don't want anybody to open it. So uh, that's why I have to keep this bottle so that they will not escape. So this is a prison 
for stubborn souls that you are looking at here so you can use bottle for this. this is a very powerful spell that i do for people this is not something i talk about in public now this bottle is kept in a dark place or in front of my altar it doesn't leave my altar that is where it's going to remain uh, until the day that i decide to release them or until something happens but this anybody that enters here is not coming at anything that goes into here is never never coming at this this is designed for the worst kind of people the worst kind of people that deserve to be locked up uh deserve this kind of fate this is what i reserve for them okay so this is uh how you can use the simple bottle for coughing spells okay so i want to show you guys that uh, this is a way to do this and uh it's a very easy and effective way to practice african spirituality uh, any part of the world you are in you don't need to hold that coughing from uh, africa to do your spell you can use a bottle to do the same thing and it's just as quite as effective as your uh, original coughing so this is what i have for you today and our questions our comments are welcome uh if you like to learn how to do stuff like this register for my class my students class i teach people how to do this and uh, only serious people may apply we learn many things in my classes and uh, things that we empower you and give you strengths so for those people that are interested in uh, learning more about african spirituality my website is here uh, river of knowledge it is a place whereby you're going to learn a lot about african spirituality and uh, it's going to give you the empowerment enlightenment freedom illumination that you need there is this saying that uh, knowledge is power and uh, according to mortal combat once again there is no knowledge that is not power so uh, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than to be a gardener in a war so this is a uh, part of the philosophy i am using on this channel so it's better to know stuff and uh, you don't need them than uh, when you need them, you don't know them. So this is uh, why I teach this stuff. So if you want to know about coughing spells, I teach coughing spells and uh, I do deep walkings with uh, mostly spirits of the dead. And uh, in African spirituality, what we basically venerate is uh, our African ancestors. Uh, people that have gone before us and uh, we have deities that uh, are connected to us by bloodline by heritage that have been protecting us since the beginning of time deities like um, Eshu, the one you call them Baba Legba or Elegbara the one the Igbo people call uh, a Quensu uh, the white people that say this guy is a devil is not a devil okay devil is a uh, for white people we don't have the concept of devil in african spirituality so we don't know what that means okay in african spirituality there is no separation between uh, good and evil that this is entirely good this is entirely evil this is a misconception that has been causing problem in this world when you say some people are bad so i'm the good guy bad guy no 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 in african spirituality what we know is balance my hearts everything you are doing there must be balance there must be harmony inside so uh, the deities we work with we have different deities for different purposes okay you can see some of them are lighter deities some of them are darker deities but uh, they are not necessary good or evil deities just like you cannot have them um, white magic or black magic magic is magic it depends on what you do with it okay if you use it for evil then it becomes so-called black magic if you use it for good it becomes white magic these white people are the ones that are always causing problem because they want to attribute everything good to whiteness why everything evil to black which translates to black people like we are the evil people like we are enemies we don't know that dichotomy in african spirituality what we have is balance 
So we seek to bring balance, to restore balance and restore order to the universe. So for something like this, to have this kind of spell, it is not an evil thing. This spell is not an evil thing. This is a spell for people that deserve this kind of fate. For somebody that has been causing problems for so long and uh, nothing has been able to uh, happen to this person. Nobody has been able to deliver justice to this person. So in the case of with this kind of spell, you can use it to deliver justice and uh, to restore balance and order to the universe. So this kind of spells, they are necessary for this type of things. So uh, you need to know how to do this kind of things to protect yourself, to defend yourself in order to bring peace, tranquility and harmony and balance to your life and to the life of this universe. So for those people that are seeing something like this as evil, it is the uh, same thing as uh, somebody that uh, is committing crime, they got caught by the police and they put them in jail. The police in that case, they are not doing anything evil. They are simply restoring balance and order to the environment, to the society. So this is what we do here. The only difference is that uh, uh, the police time, this, that, those are waste of time. This is spiritual policing. Okay, spiritual policing. This is what is happening in this kind of situation. So you don't need to waste time to be spending money on lawyers on persecution. You can actually do something that will be effective and very fast. And uh, you don't even need to spend money. You don't need to make noise. You just do what needs to be done from the spiritual perspective on the spiritual realm and uh, it will get a uh, very powerful effect without bothering anybody you can be able to bring justice so this is uh, the power that you will get uh, practicing african spirituality or some of the power and blessing of african spirituality it gives you your freedom to operate it gives you your freedom to and your protection to be able to do things to help yourself to solve your own problem without bothering people. This is why some people are afraid of African spirituality because it actually empowers you. And some people don't want this empowerment to be given to ordinary people so they say that it is evil. They want to be the only one that is controlling everything. So they have to criminalize African spirituality and to make it evil so that uh, demolish, so that people will run away from it. This is the reason why. So, in African spirituality, we really don't have much restrictions. If you practice this stuff, you most of the laws of men does not apply to you. You are not in the same reality with them. We are different from them. A town hall is different. I'll be using that term from now on. <laughs> so, uh, this stuff like this, you need to know how to do stuff like this for your own uh, peace of mind, for your own protection okay so uh, don't be afraid of uh, african spirituality especially if you are from africa this is part of your heritage this knowledge is part of your heritage it belongs to you okay it's our tradition it's our culture we must not uh, throw it away it is our venom every animal have their own venom for protecting themselves Okay, it is allowed in order for you to survive. So you need to learn how to use this thing. That's why you need to connect with the knowledge. You need to practice African spirituality. Okay, it's very, very important so that you don't become powerless in this world. You don't become somebody like people. Somebody can just run over the way they are oppressing black people in the world today is because many of them have lost this type of knowledge. Many of them, are, many of our people have lost it. They have become slaves to Christianity. They have become slaves to Islam, slaves to white supremacy. They are now like sheep. You can just do anything you want with them. Nothing will happen. They are like chaff. They are lost. They don't know who they are. They don't know where they are coming from. They don't know where they are going. They're just running up and down, doing all sorts of nonsense, abusing themselves. So it's very painful. It's very painful. So we need to come back to our roots. We need to know who we are. 
we need to study this stuff we need to learn stuff okay please i'm begging you so that we don't get pushed around by other races pushed around by every tom dick and harry we need to gain our self-respect and integrity as people decent people the only thing that will give us that is our good knowledge of our culture our spirituality this is the only thing that we give us the edge the empowerment that uh, is needed to gain uh, our self-respect back on this planet so i'm advising you please learn this stuff register for my class no knowledge is lost it is not expensive okay for now i only charge 600 dollars for six months within six months you're going to know a lot of things that you can use to protect and empower yourself without wasting time going to lawyers going to police or try to argue with people there are many things you can do to solve your problem by yourself without going anywhere just by sitting inside your house <laughs> there are many things you can actually do that uh, will help you okay so please um, learn this thing register for my classes join i teach you how to follow up you get a lot of access to a lot of information and uh it will be better off for you okay they say uh now waiting you don't know now your mate they better pass you know your way not because know yourself know thyself uh, it's not an insult okay so please uh try to register and uh become a student empower yourself harm yourself with this knowledge and uh start living your life to the best of your abilities and capabilities okay with that being said i thank you for watching my videos today you can like and share this video questions and comments are always welcome as usual please subscribe to my channel subscribe i need more subscribers we need to go viral share my videos in our black communities share my videos in your groups in your ideas you are free to discuss the videos discussion and debate healthy ones is welcome as far as uh, we don't bring religion and politics into it it is fine let's talk about spirituality i'm here for you so uh, if you want to read my book on quantum physics and uh, african spirituality it is still here it's a very simple book easy to understand we give you in-depth knowledge about the principles of african spirituality relating to quantum physics i wrote that book it is waiting for you if you want to do your works or love spell packs axes the whole nine yards open doors my number is on the screen please whatsapp me don't call me directly you might interrupt something i am doing add me on whatsapp send me a message then we talk we progress from there please don't just take the number there call me it is not so good please then uh apart from that i thank you very much for those people supporting me and uh watching this channel I thank you very much and i'll uh, be seeing you in the next video as usual so take care and bye peace